Hey boys and girls, it's Night Stalker here. Welcome along today to my Krieg Threat Fusilier Guide. Check it, check it out. These guys are a little wonderful unit and uh, I really like them. The, especially when I was first leveling up, I found this unit to be very, very strong. Uh, it's got a massively high rate of fire and it's got all sorts of advantages going for it. Uh, it's a very simple unit to use as well, particularly if you're new to uh, guiding your units and your hero independently. This unit is really good because you can set it up and more or less forget about it. Uh, as long as you've got the right positioning. So without further ado, let's have a look at uh, what makes a Kriegsart Fusilier such a wonderful unit to play with. Okay boys and girls, here we are with our Lightning Kriegsrat Fusiliers. Now don't be, don't worry if you'll say something different up here because the different veterancy paths will give you a different one, uh, different title, but also the different server versions of the game will give you a different title as well, uh, whether you're between one of the three main server groups. Uh, not to be worried about today. So the doctrines I'm carrying on these guys is I find this unit the most effective to be dumping their ammunition as quickly possible and off back to the supply point. While they can fight in melee, I choose not to <laughs> because you're just risking your nice good range unit for no real reason. Um, even though they can fight in melee, again, don't choose too willingly. So uh, I've got the Epic Archibicus doc uh, Doctrine on there simply because it gives me a lot more defense. These guys are pretty tanky already. Uh, they're a lot more tanky than an archer and they're a lot more tanky than the previous iterations, you know, the... Um, the blue guns and the green guns, even though they're tankier than the archers at the same tier, these guys are another big step up, like a big step up. These guys are really tanky for a ranged unit. They are not Iron Reapers, Don't, not saying that, but just uh, be aware that they are a lot tankier and a big step up between the tiers. Um, I've maximised their rate of fire uh, because that is their biggest advantage. I've increased their shooting accuracy by 20%. These guys are already lethal accurate. This makes them very, very deadly. And of course, we're just going to stack some more damage on top there as well with the breakthrough and the piercing damage doctrine. Uh, these guys will already snipe off heroes out of position, so you don't really need a assassin doctrine on them at all. Uh, the veterancy I'm running is top veterancy line. In my opinion, this is the only way to use this one. Uh, aiming speed is increased. There are three actions in uh, in a musket to shoot it is uh, aim shoot and reload and all of those have their own speed allocated to them they've each got their own statistic and uh, some units are very very slow to aim for example uh, imperial arquebusiers uh, very slow unit to aim but these guys don't they will snap fire very very quickly and that's what's going to need this you know if you do have those imperial arquebusiers you always use the number one to fire or they'll take forever to aim and shoot uh, extra firing accuracy, who doesn't like that? Extra rate of fire, who doesn't like that? Extra damage, who doesn't like that? Extra accuracy, who doesn't like that? And if you were to take the other one, you're going to get a damage reduction and two more soldiers in the unit, which I just don't think is worth it. Mm, extra damage. Melee piercing damage, I love it. Uh, we'll have a quick look here. I see they've got 6,000 health and they've got 500 to 600 uh, defense stats, making them really, really tanky for this tier and for a ranged unit. Uh, they're not quite as tanky as Tercios, who have about 8,000, uh, but these guys do really well in terms of uh, how well they can survive things like short bow heroes shooting at them, other archers. You get a bit of time to react before they start dying. Should we have a look at their tech tree? Where are we here? Uh, as you can see, I quite like this unit. So uh, along here, the ones that will affect them are not just these ones, uh, extra extra firing training, tactical formations, and uh, esprit de corps. Uh, these are generic ones that will affect all gunners. Kriegs rats themselves will get a uh, rate of fire, which is brilliant. Uh, we get uh, an extra 5%, five, 5%, we're up to 20% rate of fire there. Uh, melee damage by 15, 20%. That's 20% extra melee damage, 20% extra rate of fire. So as you can imagine, those make quite a significant difference to this unit. The outliers are this one, improved chainmail, which will give you extra 3% piercing defense and an extra 3% slashing defense. Now I've only bought these up to three um, because to finish the last two of this one and the last two of this one is 80,000 honor. 80,000 honor to get a total of 40 extra piercing defense and 40 extra slashing defense. Just not worth it, bros. Don't take those two. Uh, unless, of course, you've got everything else maxed out. Okay, so now let's have a look at the Kriegs Rat Fusiliers in action. So they have two formations. They have open, 
which is nice if you're being shot at. And I tend to use this uh, as often as possible because they, they bunch up less. But if you want them firing down a hallway or something like that, this is definitely the way to do it. You have a look here. Like a natural um, uh, ranged unit, anything with shields is going to annoy them. Except Kriegsrat Fusiliers are no ordinary ranged unit. And you'll find that even in close combat, they can fight rather well. They fight better than Tercios, but they don't have the survivability of Tercios. And generally speaking, they're going to stab... Look at some of these stabs. Quite nasty. So what I'll do now... Hopefully, we're going to get a... Uh, not a ranged unit. Excellent, we're going to get a melee unit. We're going to put them into melee only. Press 5, by the way. If you didn't know, press 5. 5 will... Um, will tell them to, to no longer use their, their ranged. Now look at the damage on these bayonets. It is ridiculous. And you can catch heroes out with this so often. So often I see heroes diving into a unit of Kriegsrath and just getting absolutely killed. Like if you're not a heavy armor hero, these guys might do a real number on you. Okay, it's not guaranteed. Don't forget these are training room mobs. But generally speaking, these guys can fight in melee rather well. And since I've studied the Tercio AI, I think these guys are better. Just look at them. Oh no, we've lost one. Boo hiss. So keep that in mind. Press 5 to go back to ranged, and we're ready to go. They only have one skill. The one skill they have is directed fire, just like every other musket unit. We'll look at that real quick. It's worth noting as well, these guys are virtually completely maximised. I'll talk about that if I haven't already, when we look at the unit tab. It's as simple as this. Shoot that direction. Let's see how they do this time. A combination of melee and guns. The guys at the back will continue to shoot while the guys at the front use their bayonets. Deadly, filthy, deadly bayonets. In fact, the bayonets do more damage than the guns themselves, so that's a really nice thing to see. But again, this unit is fully maximised along the tech tree, so you can expect that to be quite nasty. They have, I think it is, 20% damage reduction. We'll talk about that when we talk about the, uh, the doctrines and veterancy paths. What do you think? Ta-da! And as you can see, we are completely out of ammunition. And this is the number one drawback of this unit, is that they have very, very high rate of fire, but they also have quite a low amount of ammunition for a ranged unit. So they've got heaps more than, say, uh, than javelins, a lot, lot more than javelins, but you will run out of ammunition with this unit uh, with frightening regularity. So that's one of the things that you have to monitor if you're using them. But as you can see, they can uh, fight things in melee, but don't throw them up against, like, purple units. Don't throw them against berserkers or paladins or palace guard. That's not going to work out well for you. Uh, light melee they can beat. Heavy melee they'll just get destroyed. Let's move on. Rightio. Here we are with our Kriegsrat Fusiliers uh, looking for some some murder on here on Harbour City Siege. So what we're going to come across first is we're going to put them off to the side and wait for an opportunity. I'm going to use them in uh, narrow formation just to keep them more controllable. What happens here is while my Kriegs are moving into position, you can see the green dots on the map, we get attacked, where our team get attacked, by cavalry front, cavalry back for every side. So I hit the, the, the V key straight away. Now watch how uh, a lot of these cavalry will get stunned. All guns will knock cavalry out of a charge. And the reason I've just chosen to attack straight away rather than keep running out of the way of the, uh, the cavalry is because my unit is widely dispersed and it's also still able to, to shoot. So... This gives us a better chance of surviving the cavalry, because they won't all get us just by moving onto us or charging through us. And at the same time, we can, we can still support our team to remove the cavalry from the, the action. So it's going to cost us two Kriegs, but we get many, many cavalry kills. That is lovely. So priority now is, because we've used more than half of our ammunition already, and we've got a couple of damaged guys, we're just going to get healed up. Let's fast forward. Okay, so our Kriegs are back in position. We're going to move them out to start shooting at this palace guard if they continue to push. Uh, fortunately, our friendly TCOs have already gunned them down quite significantly nastily. We'll put them off the side again to avoid cavalry. The positioning of this unit is critical because it has no active skills other than directed shooting, which 
to be fair with this unit, it's better to allow it to shoot by itself. Uh, that's for accuracy and rate of fire reasons, and uh, they will choose better targets than you will. However, now we see um, that we've got people mass at the top of the left and the top of the right stairs. So because all guns are support units, we have to be ready to support the units that are going to push in. We're doing the longsword shuffle here. Basically, it's a longsword tactic where you just drain the enemy's ammunition for at virtually no risk to yourself. You'll see me doing this in a lot of my videos. Now we see, oh, excuse me. We'll see that we, we need to, to start pushing in and somebody needs to uh, start making some ideas and uh, get going. So somebody's decided they want to push the supply point there. Uh, I don't know if it's a great idea. It's better to push the right if you can. If it's over defended, you can sort of scatter the defenders by pushing the other supply point. But it's this dot here that we want to get. Now we see, you can see on the map, there's people coming down the stairs. So I have to be ready to support this unit. And the best thing we can do to support this unit is to knock out the enemy support unit, which is very vulnerable on the right-hand side there. So we're going to use the, the, not just the positioning now, we're going to use the, uh, the directional attack of the Kriegsrat Fusiliers. This is a very, very accurate unit. Against a unit that's standing still, you'll gun them down. Notice how the AI has decided it wants to shoot some of the closest targets even though I've directed the fire to the other side and it's attacking out of arc. That is normal for this unit and you have to be aware that that's just going to happen. We put them back into normal attack now and allow them to select their own targets because the rate of fire and the accuracy of this unit, it will pick its own good targets and the shooting AI of this unit is really good, like really good. Uh, and just, just let them do their own thing. Like at the moment, if I was, say, a maul, I could be in the middle of that melee uh, fighting, things like that. Uh, I'm not. I'm a support hero. I'm a longsword, so I'm back with my unit. And this is about the maximum range you want to allow them to just shoot by themselves. But when, when they switch to the unit on the right there, that's beyond optimal range for this unit. Even with the buff that Musket's got recently, uh, there's a lot of damage drop off. And you can see we're only doing about... 1000 to 1300 sort of thing and our accuracy and rate of fire uh, sorry accuracy and rate of hits has dropped off significantly now about they operate really well within the sort of 50 to, to 60 to 70 meter range you know 70 is getting a bit out there but right now we've run out of uh, ammunition and we need to make a move on the supply point because it is lightly defended with only support units and support heroes. So in we go. Somebody's brought the super balanced Kishi eggs in and that's going to wipe everything on the point. Now we can clean up with our bayonets because again you've seen already in this video that they're very good with the bayonets. And I notice on my map that the bay they try to bayonet a hero <laughs> and that pike hero has just uh, dropped his nuts and he's running, 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 because actually the melee on these guys is super scary, especially if they're actively trying to stab you. <laughs> so um, the reason we didn't bring them straight back onto the point there is I was concerned that the cavalry that were milling around down the alleyway might, might, might make a large charge down here, uh, assessed the situation and found that we actually have a lot of guns and uh, pikes and mow down that sort of thing, so we were able to move onto the point and heal up. Now you see they take some pot shots and get a couple of kills here, but they're firing beyond optimal range, so we want to bring them back into that optimal range. Just because these guys have a good accuracy and a long range, um, you know, they're not Shenjis. Shenjis are a lot more expensive on leadership for a good reason. But just like all muskets, your optimum range is short. They can operate at, at longer range, but because they have so little ammunition, you don't want to waste that on dud shots. So you've got to, you've got to sort of, the positioning on this unit is really important. So here we are. Moving on through the alleyways, we've got plenty of, uh, of meat shields in front of us, plenty of uh, things that will stop cavalry. Cavalry are a big threat to this unit, as it is to all ranged units. Um, other things that are big strong threats are fast movers, like the, uh, the Wolfie Boys, I dread to say. Uh, and yeah, anything that moves fast uh, and can engage them in, in close combat. Shields are a pain to deal with as well. Uh, you just cannot shoot through heavy shields like Imperial Spear Guard or Iron Cap uh, shields. You, they're just completely ineffective against shield units. So keep that in mind. Now, when you're pushing things like this, cavalry and other fast movers generally come down the middle with a big charge, especially if they're coming in from the back because they want to kill maximum units. So offset them to the side. And here we go. Now I can do whatever I want to focus on as a hero and just kind of ignore them. And this is one of the real benefits of musket units like this one. Uh, they can just 
they do great damage, huge accuracy, massive rate of fire, and just look at look at those, right? You're never going to be doing as much damage per second as a heavy melee unit. That's just a fact of life with ranged units. But these guys, you can worry about what you're doing as a hero while having them offset. Somebody tried to sneak around the corner there and regretted it instantly. And very soon we're going to have some heroes come and try a last minute desperation dash. And that's not going to work out so well for them, because as soon as they get CC'd and they're not moving, the muskets just absolutely deal massive damage to them. Here we go. So the reason I did the V move and put the marker down there is when they run out of ammunition, they'll run into combat. Now if I die, they've been pre-ordered to do that. So if my hero dies, they'll still continue to take part in the combat even when they run out of ammunition. Now, um, at the end of this game, uh, this wasn't the, the highest scoring Kriegs game I, I did when I was trying to make this video, but it certainly shows a wide range of their, their abilities. And you can see their uh, 600 unit score, I was obviously talking about this when I recorded it, but they did very, very well. And yeah, as I say, it wasn't the highest scoring Kriegs game I got, but it certainly showed all aspects of how this unit worked. So, there we have it boys and girls. This is how, how to play Kriegsrat Fusiliers. Hopefully it's given you a little bit of idea of what the unit does, how it can perform, and uh, obviously that last little uh, extra game there where it showed all the little aspects of the unit. I hope you learned something new, or you just enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for coming to my channel.